and welcome back to Art a la carte. This video I'm going to be doing a coloring in Copics and I always get tons of questions about using Copic markers and lots of requests for doing tutorials or a series on you know, like a 101 series on using Copics. I think a lot of the reason that I'm reluctant to do a Copic tutorial video is because so many people use them so many different ways and I've been playing with them for almost a year now. In November it'll be a full year that I've been um, using Copic markers and I think I've finally gotten to the point where I'm like, oh, people use them in tons of different ways and as long as you get the, the result that you want, there's no right or wrong way to use Copics. There may be better ways to use Copics. Um, or more efficient ways, but there's no really right or wrong way. I'm going to share with you guys some of the tips and tricks that I have with blending and using Copic markers. Now I do have a few other videos and I said I'm going to go ahead and put all my Copic related videos into a playlist so if you want to see all of those, any speed drawings or paintings that I do with Copics or anything that I talk about Copics or how I got into Copic drawing, um, I'll put all that in the playlist. I'll put a link to that in the description box below so you can have a Copic marathon, I guess. So the first thing you're going to see is that I go from lightest to dark. Actually, let's even step back even one further than this, is choosing what kind of paper to use with Copics. Sometimes you'll use, if you use a paper that is more fibrous, if you feel it, it's a little bit maybe a rougher paper, kind of like a more of a coloring book paper, like if you got like a kid's coloring book has that kind of rough texture. If you put Copics on that, you're going to notice a feathering effect. And I have a lot of people asking me, you know, they use it with different papers and it feathers really badly. Um, that's just the way the Copics are going to interact with that paper. So I tend to use either paper that is specifically designed for alcohol-based markers, or a lot of times I'll use um, cardstock. So this is a really high quality cardstock that I just purchased. I just got it delivered today. So I was trying it out, so excited. So it's when you when you feel it with your fingers, it's really smooth. It's got a really nice, it's a thick weight. It's, I think it's an 80 pound weight um, cardstock paper and it's really, really smooth to the touch. So if I were to use colored pencils with this, they wouldn't work very well. A colored pencil is going to need a tooth or that fibrous feel to kind of grab the pigment off of the pencil. Where with a marker, you want it to be really smooth so the color can, can absorb into it without spreading out. You want the color to stay put. So that's the first thing you're going to do. The second thing to know about Copics is Copics were actually designed for printers, like so that you could print out a, a line art and color on it with Copic markers, and they're not supposed to smear the ink. So I have a nice printer, and my Copics work beautifully with the ink. There's no smearing or smudging. Um, it just lays in lovely. So that's the very first thing you want to think about is the paper and the 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 ink that you're going to be working with. Now, if you're going to ink this in by hand, you want to do maybe a little test swatch just to make sure that the ink is works well with Copics. I have a couple ink pens that smear really badly with Copic markers. So just, you know, have a little test piece of paper and test it out just before you ruin your beautiful piece. All right, so now let's actually get into the coloring of this. As I begin to lay in the colors, for my Copic markers, I generally work lightest to darkest, laying in my lighter tones first and then slowly going in darker and darker and darker. Also, you're going to want to look for color families. So you'll find that all Copic markers have letters and numbers. The letter lets you know the color family. I find getting a Copic color chart, and I don't think I showed it in this video, but I have a Copic color chart that I have all of my Copic markers laid out in so I can see them. So it's going to make it easier to pick out which colors you want. So the awesome thing about Copics, and it's also the reason that Copics are so expensive to get into, is that you don't just usually color with one color. So here I'm making her skirt kind of this cool pink color. So instead of just picking one color to color pink, I'm using four different shades of pink. Um, that's because Copics are designed to blend with each other, and that's how you're going to get those really awesome gradient effects from darker tone to lighter tone. It does make it more expensive because you're going to have to buy all of those colors. That's where you're going to find that there's like 87 shades of 
brown because there's all these great different shades and tones for blending and things like that. So the way that you're going to blend is you're going to lay in your lightest tone first and then slowly begin to make that darker. So I laid in the lighter pink first and then I'm going to go back in with a darker pink and lay in my shadows. And then I'm going to go back to my lighter pink and use that lighter pink to then blend in those two colors together so you don't have that line of light pink and medium pink. You, you just, it blends it all smoothly together and just creates this really cool gradient effect. Then I'm going to go back in with my third darkest color, add in some more shadows, and I'll go back to my second darkest color, and so on and so forth. So you're just always going back through and just blending, 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 blending. It takes a ridiculous amount of time, but if you like how Copic markers look, then you already know that the time invested in creating a Copic piece is well worth it. A lot of people ask me, is there a cheaper alternative? When I first started off with alcohol-based markers, I invested in the Spectrum Noir brand just to make sure that I actually enjoyed alcohol-based markers. And I did, and then I ended up selling that whole set so that I could purchase like two or three more Copic markers. So if you're nervous about the big investment because it is expensive to get into Copic markers, you can try a cheaper alternative. So that's pretty much the basic method for laying in those colors is just don't think about one color for one thing. Think about you know several different shades of that color to build up that value. So let me talk a little bit about this piece because I am super excited. You might be thinking, oh yay, this is this this is September's coloring page, and it's not. <laughs> I'll actually show you a picture of September's coloring page. For those of you who don't know, every month I release a new coloring page on my Etsy shop for a digital download. And so everyone always kind of looks forward and tries to figure out what the new coloring page is going to be. Um, this isn't, this is actually for a project that I'm working on that I will, um, I'm getting closer to being done with this project. And as soon as I have finished, I'll make an announcement video talking about that. But the reason I'm using this piece is because there's a cool thing about this month's coloring page. My coloring page usually premieres on the first of each month. I'm going to go ahead and premiere it today just because this video goes live today and I don't feel like waiting and I wanted to reward those who are uh, really fast at watching my video. So for the first 10 orders of this month, so it's September's coloring page on my Etsy shop and I'll leave a link to that in the description box below. But when you order that piece, you will also get a digital download of this one as well. So you're going to get two pieces for the price of one. And that's just for the first 10. After the first 10 have sold out, then um, you will just get the regular one piece. So if you order it and you only get one digital download, that's because the first 10 have sold out. So, um, but at, at some point, this one will be available for you. I just can't tell you when or exactly how right now. I will, as soon as I can, I will tell you guys about that. <laughs> how you can get her and her many, many friends. Anyway, hopefully this video helped answer some of the questions that you have. Um, if you're beginning to use Copic markers or maybe you just enjoy watching videos about Copic markers. So if you have any extra hints or tips on using Copic markers, please let us know in the comment section below. I love going through and reading um, comments from you guys and I know a lot of you guys do as well. And I want to say awesome job you guys for just the comment interaction. And even before I get a chance to get over there to reply to some of the questions, most of the time you guys have already answered the questions and you answer them so kindly too. I hardly ever have to deal with anyone being rude or grumpy or trolling or anything like that so thank you guys for being so awesome in the comment sections and don't forget to head over to the Etsy shop to get your September copy of the coloring page plus if you're one of the first 10 people getting this cutie as well if you're brand new to this channel make sure to hit that subscribe button so that you don't miss out on any future videos and until next time God bless you guys and we'll see you later bye bye